Stacy Pearsall is snapping away with the help of her service dog, Charlie, capturing the images of veterans all over the country for a special project. Just your eyes, follow me with your eyes. Enlisting in the Air Force, she knew she wanted to do something in the arts. And I applied for one of the coveted positions at the first combat camera squadron in Charleston, South Carolina. So I knew that's what I really wanted to do. She was accepted and would later capture images as a combat photographer attached to Army infantry units in Iraq. By day, I would be covering school rebuilding, and then by night, we'd be looking for what we called the face cards at the time, all the bad guys that we still not um, swooped up from Saddam's regime. Her pictures would be used by the president's joint chief of staffs and media outlets all over the country to help disseminate what exactly was happening on the battle space. However, in 2004, at the age of 24, Stacy would face a battle of her own after an IED went off and injured her. And I sustained a traumatic brain injury and a cervical spine trauma that day from which I recovered adequately enough to go back on service, which is all I really wanted to do. But in 2007, she was back in Iraq, and when her crew got caught up in a firefight, she went to rescue a wounded soldier when two IEDs went off. I had exacerbated the injuries that I had already sustained in, in previous deployments and the previous IEDs, and that was ultimately what ended my career. Stacy was retired in 2010 and had to fight another battle this time at home. As a young woman, I was 28 years old, I would go to the VA and feel completely out of place. And I thought about suicide quite a bit. Between the physical pain and the emotional traumas, it was just overwhelming. But while she was recovering and surrounded by veterans at the VA from all different branches and generations, Stacy knew that she had to follow her passion to help with the healing process. I started bringing my camera to the hospital and taking portraits while I waited for my appointments. Feeling that it was her way to honor veterans like herself, and regained the military camaraderie that she had lost. I felt renewed, like I had a renewed sense of purpose, and I realized that I didn't need to wear a uniform to serve. Charlie, please. And that with each veteran that, that was validating my service, in turn I was validating theirs and, and thanking them with the only tool that I could in return, which was photography. What did you do when you came home from the Navy? I set a crazy goal that I would photograph veterans in every state, thinking it would be a lifetime endeavor, something to keep one foot in front of the other something to keep me from thinking about the alternative. And the Veterans Portrait Project was born. And here I am 11 years later, over 8,000 veterans that I've met across the nation in my 48th state, Wisconsin, and um, nearing the finish line. I think the Veterans Portrait Project is a testament to the healing process of communing with other people. And the veterans and their families have that same feeling. And they're like, I don't know, I'm going to break your camera. Why do you want to take my picture? But then when we, when we just sit down and we have a conversation, it's about two veterans connecting. And the, the picture is just a byproduct of that. Thank you. And then their loved ones like you, you, you caught him or her like perfectly. That's so them. And I'm like, I know because I'm just talking to a brother or sister and it's, that's them in that moment.